Sounds good. This is a normal speaking volume. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome, everyone. everyone. Um, beautiful, beautiful day today. Make, Make sure you hydrate uh, with the heat. Um, even under the tent, it's, uh, you'll need to make sure you're all drinking plenty of water. And I uh, just would like everybody to remind everybody to wear your mask, uh, especially when under the tent. Uh, we want to keep everybody safe. Uh, but thank you all for coming, and uh, congratulations to each and every one of you and family and friends. Thank you. So, Steve, you should be hearing me. Good. And thumbs up, Mike. Your mic is off. Beautiful. 
So over on the stream, how's it sounding? Probably isn't coming to you quite yet, maybe a few seconds. Getting anything at all. Anything at all. Constant stream of audio. Constant stream of audio. Do 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 do. Does it sound like it's nothing? You got it? You getting something? Beautiful. I can keep talking if we think we need any more. Um, any idea? Trying to get something now? Any speculation on the delay time, just in case that should be known? It's usually, yeah, it's usually around 45 or so with YouTube. Right? Tut, 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 tut. <laughs> Little low? So let's do this. I'm just going to bring this feed up a little bit more. Steve, I'm not blowing you out yet, am I? OK, so that's a little bit of boost. I, I want to leave a little bit of room. Let me give you a little bit more feed. Oh. Do you have a mono versus stereo output switch? They're only getting left channel. Yeah, g give a poke around. I'm going to check on my side, make sure I'm not only sending one feed. Da, 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 da. We are center panned, center panned. I sh I'm giving a mono channel. So I am sending mono. So I'm going to turn Steve's feed down just a bit, but t send all the sends up. Steve, just a heads up, the bagpipes are going to be exciting. I have a mic hung for you back there. It's just going to the live stream, not into the mains at all. No sound check, so. I'm going to be, I'll have a finger on the, the fader, just like give me, you know, thumbs up, thumbs down, or, you know, <laughs> thank you, sir. Okay, one last check, Steve. This volume is still okay. I changed the gain structure a little bit to give us more headroom. Okay, and we're going to wait a good 50 seconds. I want uh, Chris on live feed to verify this new volume as it comes in. He'll know that it's the volume because I'm saying this right now. Kind of wish we had a comm set set up here, but it's one way. Interesting. Chris is reporting we, we had both channels for a minute, but now it's just back to left channel only. Did it switch to right channel? Oh, it switched to right channel. Hmm. Steve, do you have two XLR inputs? Do you have two XLR inputs? Um, let's try using it. If you want to put that other one into your second input,
quick check. Can you still hear me? And you got me in both of your ears, correct? One channel only. Is it just left side or just right side? Just your right side. If I do this, do you hear anything at all? Nothing, you're not hearing me at all? You are still on the right side? Tut, 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 tut. Uh, maybe it's because I didn't patch it on the back. Let me try that. Okay, so I I was patched, so I'm not sure I'm not sure why it's only coming out on one channel now. Still okay, just constant audio. Give you a little boost. I got boost. Um, here's plus five, plus five above Unity. I right, you want a little bit more? So here's all but red lines, all but red lines. So that's all right. Um, and still, are you guys hearing in the one channel? Okay. Hmm. I I am sending on both channels. Let me just just for uh, shits and giggles, I'm gonna undo my panning. See if that affects anything. Does that change anything? Nothing, just still right ear, okay. Um, I think I'm out of things to poke at on my side. I'm, I'm sending both, so it's something in the cord, I'm not sure. So let's try that. One, two, one, two, three. I'm not playing with painting at all, so. You, you see me? You hear me? Left, right, left, right. Dot, 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 dot. Interesting. Right.
no, I say if, if it gets too hot.
Welcome. Welcome family, friends, and distinguished guests. Thank you for coming this beautiful day. Congratulations to all of you. Uh, just a reminder to make sure you're all wearing your mask, please, uh, to keep everyone safe. And uh, make sure you hydrate. Uh, it's going to be a hot one today. And uh, thank you all again for coming. And uh, maybe let's see if we can get everybody to, uh, on the count of three, to say, go Hawks. Are you, are you on board with that? We can see if they can hear us way back there. All right, count of three. One, two, three. Go Hawks! All right, thank you. Have fun.
Good morning. Welcome to commencement at Hartwick College here on O'Yarn Hill. Today we gather to celebrate our graduates and all of their accomplishments. Before we begin the ceremony, please silence your cell phones. If you must answer a phone call, please do so quietly and remove yourself from the tent so that those around you are not distracted. We ask that you remain standing until the completion of the singing of our national anthem. KN95 or N95 masks are required within the fence of Elmore Field, as well as the Binder Physical Education Building. Masks must be worn properly and remain on until the conclusion of the commencement ceremony. Those who do not properly wear a mask will be asked to leave the event facility. Masks are available for those who need one. Unless weather conditions are dangerous or severe, we will remain under the tent with minor alterations. If we need to relocate the ceremony, we ask that all guests allow for the platform party, faculty, and graduates to exit first. Guests will be escorted by Hartwick College staff to various locations on campus. Upon the conferral of degrees, family members are encouraged to enter the photo areas located at the front of the tent. Hartwick staff will invite you into the area prior to your graduate's name being called. Once you take the photo, please exit the area to allow for the next person to do the same. We ask for your patience and cooperation to allow all guests the opportunity to take a photo of their graduate. We invite you to celebrate the achievements of each graduate, but please remember that we have many students participating in today's ceremony. Each graduate will be hooded, their name will be called and receive their degree from the president. Please refrain from extended applause until all names are called. All of our graduates have worked very hard to have their name heard. We ask for your cooperation and allowing other families to have the same opportunity to celebrate. Concessions and water will be available throughout the ceremony. Restrooms are located inside the Binder Physical Education Building directly behind you. Thank you for joining us here on O'Yarn Hill and we hope you enjoy today's beautiful ceremony.
ringing of the Hartwick Seminary bell calls us together this day as it has for 225 years. Since 1797, those who have wanted to learn have come together with those who were prepared to teach under the name of Hartwick. Over these years, thousands of students from across the world have found at Hartwick the inspiration that awakened their passion for learning. Class of 2022, you have stepped into Hartwick's river of time and you have changed the course of our river forever. Today, you are Hartwick College. And so I declare in the words used to convene each Hartwick commencement ceremony, the company of scholars is assembles, assembled, let the ceremonies begin. Please remain standing for the singing of the Star Spangled Banner performed by the Hartwick College Commencement Choir. Stripes and bright stars through the perilous flight for the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting Be seated. I now invite Student Senate President Awino Pollard Musioka, class of 23, to the lectern. To the class of 2022, you made it. You made it. You're going to hear many wonderful words from so many people today, and hopefully you get inspired by everything that you hear. But don't forget to breathe this moment in. You made it. Despite it all, maybe because of it all, you have made it to this day and you should be so proud of yourself. The Board of Trustees, President Dragovich, faculty, staff, friends, family, and everyone who is more than one of these things, because let's be honest, your faculty became your friends by your second week of school. Good morning. Welcome to this momentous occasion. Today is the day we consciously choose 
to celebrate the achievements of the class of 2022. Students who had one normal year of college before everything happened and still made it to this side of the Kati. My name is Awino Paolo Musyoka, and I am the student body president. As a rising senior, I am in awe of everything that you've accomplished, and I applaud you. <laughs> Standing here, I can feel reflected in me the range of emotion that you must have felt throughout your time here what you will continue to feel now that you're graduating and for the rest of your life. Joy, you're here. You made it. Maybe you didn't think you would, but you did. Sadness, you've known the people beside you, lived with them, loved and hated them, formed indescribable bonds, and now you have to leave. Doubt, do you really deserve to be here? You finished your thesis the night before it was due. You have no idea what the job market looks like. Is this really happening? Anxiety. Is this when you become a real adult? Do you finally have to decide what the rest of your life looks like? Hope. This is the day you've been walking towards, and my goodness, is it exciting. You're going to do great things. Whether that means resting for six months as you discover what it's like to cast off the title of student, whether that means immediately beginning a job you've been looking forward to for months, or moving back to your country to see what good you can do there, or moving forward with your music career that you've been working on, or even if it means revving yourself up for more student experiences. Everything you do is substantial. Indeed, great. Because you get to do it. You get to take everything you've learned from the wonderful and not so wonderful experiences you've had on O'Yaron Hill, the wise words of your professors and fellow students, and turn them into magic. Congratulations to the class of 2022. Hold on to this feeling. Hug it for as long as you can, because you made it, and you deserve to be proud. Please allow me to introduce. <laughs> Please allow me to introduce Dr. David Long, the chair of the Hartwick College Board of Trustees. Thank you, Awina. You did an awesome job. So, President Drogovic, distinguished faculty, honored guests, members of the class of 2022, as chair of the Board of Trustees and as a graduate of Hartwick College, along with my alumna wife, Stephanie, it is a distinct pleasure to welcome you on behalf of all of Hartwick Trustees. As our governing name implies, we're entrusted with upholding the mission of this great college, honoring its legacy of educating young women and men to be engaged and contributing citizens of the world. In that spirit, the Hartwick trustees first and foremost salute and thank Hartwick's president, its faculty, administrators, and staff. Thank you. So in 2014, I was honored to deliver the commencement address. And I shared my own journey coming across the pond from England, as well as the life lessons I learned in my four years at Hartwick. Lessons, I might add, that have served me well to this day. For me, the most memorable were the strangers who took me in and shaped my future. The kind and caring people of Oneonta and quite specifically, the Hartwood College family. 
Today, your journey is uniquely yours. You've been well educated at Hartwick by caring and capable scholars in this academic setting committed to preparing you to be a lifelong learner. You've navigated unprecedented disruptions over these past two years. Rites of passage for all ages have been disrupted. You've had to move along your journey of learning and life with a unique determination, but here we are. Together, you found your way. Well done. Members of the class of 2022, what's next will unfold pretty quickly, maybe as soon as tomorrow. But for now, for today, take in this moment to celebrate, claiming a healthy dose of a justifiable pride in a job well done and a journey well taken. And then kick back, relax, enjoy this very day with your family and friends and your larger Hartwood community that has supported you and valued you and will continue to do so for many years to come. Congratulations. <laughs> and now please allow me to introduce Dr. Carl Seeley, Professor of Economics and Faculty Chair. Dr. Seeley. Good morning. Abraham Kellogg was a charter member of the Hartwick College Board of Trustees, which he chaired from 1929 to 1944. During the difficult depression years of the 1930s, Kellogg played a major part in the financial survival of the college. His estate gift of $11 million is among the largest gifts that Hartwick College has ever received. Kellogg, a famous state Supreme Court justice, believed that oratorical skills are an important part of a liberal arts education. He established the Abraham L. Kellogg Oratorical Prize to recognize the outstanding oratorical presentation by a graduating senior. The faculty selects the winner of this award from among the students who spoke at honors convocation. On behalf of the faculty, it is my pleasure to present this prize to Vandia Williams. This is a day for honoring those students who have completed their courses of study on Oyarin Hill. It is also a day to honor their professors with the Margaret B. Bunn Award for Excellence in Teaching. We recognize the Hartwick faculty who transforms the lives of our students. Margaret Bunn was a loyal friend of Hartwick who understood the importance of the interaction between teacher and student. She served on Hartwick's Board of Trustees for 14 years. After her death in 1978, the trustees established this annual award to be presented to a faculty member who, as judged by students who had graduated five years earlier, was the most outstanding faculty member with whom they studied. Thus, members of the class of 2022 will be asked to vote on the 2027 Bunn Award recipient. The list of current faculty members who are holders of this most prestigious award is a roll call of remarkable teachers. Recent honorees include Professors Betsy Bloom, Eric Cooper, Mary Allen, and Howard Lichtman.
We now add another name to this distinguished list. The 2022 Bunn Award recipient is Associate Professor of Chemistry, Andrew J. Pfeiffer. Andrew, Andrew J. Pfeiffer earned his BS in chemistry from Dickinson College, his PhD in biochemistry from New Mexico State University, and completed a postdoctoral fellowship at the University of Pennsylvania School of Medicine. His success began early. An Eagle Scout, Dr. Pfeiffer was recognized as a National Merit Commended Scholar, received a Hughes Teaching Fellowship at Haverford College, and the Hartwood College Alumni Association Outstanding Employee Award. He has chaired the Department of Chemistry here and served on important planning committees, including the committees that guided the creation of the Flight Path Platform for Hartwick Education. Dr. Pfeiffer received tenure at Hartwick in 2013, and his promotion to full professor has recently been approved by the Board of Trustees. Dr. Pfeiffer teaches courses ranging from Chemistry 105 to Biochemistry 405 and 406, which addresses subjects such as proteins, nucleic acids, lupids, enzyme catalytic theory, molecular evolutionary concepts, and central metabolic pathways. He has also been an early leader in the teaching of flight path and first year seminar courses. In addition, Dr. Pfeiffer has received external funding for work on enhancing student learning and has published in scholarly journals with colleagues at Hartwick and elsewhere. He engages Hartwick students in his research to expose them to novel scientific discovery with a lasting impact on his students. I believe that Margaret Bunn would heartily agree that Dr. Andy Pfeiffer is deserving of this award named in her honor. Thank you, class of 2017, and please join me again in recognizing Dr. Pfeiffer. The President's Award for the Liberal Arts in Practice is presented to a Hartwick graduate who continually develops the capacity for critical thinking, ethical action, and reflection. And then this person fosters this development in others. It's for a graduate who seeks to build a deeper understanding of similarities and differences, a graduate who encourages others to do the same and a graduate who has made meaningful contributions to present and future communities, both locally and globally. I can think of no one more deserving of this recognition than today's honoree. Will Elaine H. Arnold please step forward? Elaine H. Arnold, trustee emerita and Hartwick class of 1969. Today, this community honors you for blazing a professional pathway against considerable odds 
and then assuring your success benefited generations of young people who would follow you. Despite your Hartwick degree, you found that a secretarial position was the only, quote, door that would open for women in the 1970s who wanted to enter the challenging and financially rewarding work of corporate finance. Undaunted, you walked through that door and started your climb. You leveraged your personal strengths in education and learned from every opportunity. You held increasingly responsible roles at E.F. Hutton, Morgan Stanley, MBIA, and others, culminating in roles such as Vice President at Citicorp and Managing Director and Co-Head of U.S. Corporate Finance at Fox Kelton Group Incorporated. You earned your master's from NYU and pursued your doctoral studies. In other words, you earned your way forward. Rather than retire after your accomplished career, for more than 20 years you have volunteered in New York City schools. Working in partnership with guidance counselors, you help high school students access their dreams by successfully navigating the college application process. Year after year, you have guided them and challenged them and encouraged them to consider and tell their authentic story through their college essays. In the spirit of Hartwick's flight path, you encourage your students with prompts like, be open to new interests, and this is the time to gain insight into yourself. Through discussion, positive redirection, probing questions, and constant encouragement, you help each student grow in their self-confidence. You say that your professional experiences open the world for you. You, in turn, have now opened the world to children who have aspirations, as you did. But they needed someone, they needed you to encourage and nudge and challenge and support them. Importantly, Elaine, for the purpose of this award, you did this work because you believe that education is the key to a satisfying and productive life. Elaine H. Arnold, Hartwick Class of 1969, your alma mater is proud of you. It is my privilege to bestow upon you the President's Award for Liberal Arts and Practice on this 21st day of May, 2022, with our thanks and appreciation for all that you have done and continue to do to open the door to the future to so many young people. And now, congratulations.
It is now my pleasure to introduce our 2022 commencement speaker, Sally Griffiths Herbert. Dr. Dr. Herbert has two Howard degrees. She earned her Bachelor of Arts degree in anthropology with departmental distinction from Hartwick in 1988. In 2019, she was awarded an honorary doctoral degree, Doctor of Letters, in recognition of her accomplishments in business, her leadership through college governance, and her life-changing philanthropy. An accomplished businesswoman, she is currently the owner and manager of Ringbrook Farm. Her record of service is long and reflects her commitment to those things that she most values. She currently serves as district commissioner for the United States Pony Association, as director of the Kimball Union Academy Equestrian Program, and is founding officer of the Upper Valley Ski and Snowboard Association. Importantly, Dr. Griffiths Herbert has also served for a total of 12 years as a trustee of Hartwick College, a role she continues today. Sally supports what she values at Hartwick. The Sally Griffiths Herbert 88 Aquatic Center, the Griffiths Center for Collaboration and Innovation, the Sarah Griffiths 88 and Timothy Herbert Endowed J-Term Scholarship, and Flight Path. Dr. Griffiths Herbert's devotion to Hartwick has been continuous and is an inspiration to me and to all who know her. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Sally Griffiths Herbert. Just a minute, I have to get my specs. <laughs> President Drugovich, fellow trustees, faculty, professional staff, and members of the great class of 2022, your families and honored guests. 225 years ago, John Christopher Hartwick sparked an idea. Not all that far from here, just down the road a piece. Hartwick College was born on that day. We had our humble beginnings as a small Lutheran school. And now, oh, how far we've come. <laughs> Graduates, we are all playing an important part in this long and special history. We have evolved into the school that we are today. And each of you has had a hand in this progression. Now, are we perfect? No. Are we special? Are we caring? And are we future focused? Yes, yes, and yes. I am forever grateful and proud to have been a part of Hartwood College's journey thus far. Our future is looking brighter than ever thanks to the incredible work of the Hartwood community under the leadership of Dr. Drugovich. I would like to begin telling you who I am. I am myself, <laughs> with all my skills, qualities, and flaws. As the president has said, I am a Hartwick alumna from the great class of 1988. I spent four years here with Hartwick's faculty and stairways. I consider myself an athlete, having played three varsity sports in high school and being captain in all three. I am a Greek through my devout sisterhood within Alpha Omicron Pi. As a student at Hartwick, I was also a spectator a bar hopper, a freshman, sophomore, junior, senior, a wall painter, a pine lake lover, a weaver, painter, ceramics creator, a bicyclist, a deer run skier, a two-year Leitzel dweller, and a townhouse tenant. Did you have inspiring teachers like Connie Anderson and Dale Rothenberger, just like I did? <laughs> 
I love to visit my friends in Van Ness, Smith, and Saxton. Did you? Maybe you had Mailbox 163. <laughs> I think I still remember the actual combination. You know me because in many ways, I am you. In fact, the major difference between you and me is just age. And that gives me the right to call the college president Margaret, or even dude. <laughs> Unfortunately, after separating myself from a fractured family situation at home, I found myself having a bit too much fun freshman year. And I landed solidly on academic probation at, here at Hartwick. It's true. I was definitely out of balance. I was truly miserable, and I seriously considered transferring. After finding support from friends and a few faculty, I stuck with it, and I discovered who I really am. I began to blossom here. <laughs> I figured out what my strengths and my weaknesses are, and how to actually work with them to create my own unique path through this school. I became myself on this hill as the person that you see now. Eventually, after having transformed myself, I graduated with distinction. This school is a gem. The love and the support that I feel just stepping onto campus is real. Does this sound familiar to you? Based on my experience, I know this. You are going to go out and do wonderful, wonderful things. Think of all the work that you've done, the places that you've gone, the growth that you've gained. Some of you will go on to graduate school and many will go straight into your careers. There are bigger things to look forward to, finding a partner, raising children, and working on yourself. And of course, you can always work on yourself because the personal growth just continues. So today I would like to share three ideas about my own experience about how to spur on that personal growth. Number one, watching and learning. Number two, finding balance. And number three, your perspective. First, in our lives, you will watch and learn. So, here is something that you likely do not know about me. <laughs> I'm a groupie. <laughs> I love to follow World Cup Alpine ski racers to grovel for their signatures. Really, my hope is to be able to talk with them about their experiences. Over the years, I have been to World Cup ski races at spectacular venues in Italy, Switzerland, Austria, and all over the US. I got hooked on these amazing athletes watching Ingemar Stenmark. He dominated the field in the 70s and 80s. This man currently holds the record for World Cup wins at 86. He is a shy, kind, and unbelievably talented Swedish skier. Having married a Swede myself, somewhere out there, um, I now know that Swedish schools look, would completely stop what they would normally be doing, and everyone would congregate, congregate around small, rabbit-eared TVs to watch Ingemar do his thing. I have watched, and I have watched, and then I've re-watched Ingemar, in hopes of seeing him reveal his secrets during these magical turns. To be honest, I cannot see it. Ingemar Stenmark looks almost too slow and too smooth to be as fast as he is. I'm frustrated at how he makes his fastest run by seconds look like a walk in the park. But even though I do not see it, I am inspired by him, and I can visualize in his performance what I aspire to in my own performance. 
Second, finding balance that sustains you. Bodie Miller is another one of my skiing heroes who taught me something important about balance. One night, we spotted him walking towards us on his way to a bar known as the Londoner in Kitzbühel, Austria. It was very late after a world-class performance in the downhill race earlier in the day. The mother in me thought, hmm, shouldn't he be resting up for his slalom race tomorrow morning? And out of genuine concern, I approached Bodhi and I asked, why wasn't he back in his hotel room sleeping? His answer for me was simply, it's all about balance. Bodhi made me think about how important balance is. He understands that celebrating his achievements, being with good friends, and being close to fans is a vital part of making sure that he will continue to love what he is doing, what he does, and he does this for a long time. When things are out of balance, they become unstable, and they end up breaking or falling apart. Issues like alcohol or drug addiction, obesity, common allergic reactions, or even your latest obsession are all the result of imbalances. At some point, the scale has tipped too far to one side and you've fallen off that balance platform. Realize that in life, you will lose your balance. We all do. The greatest secret is, in fact, regaining it. If you are unable to get your balance back on your own, you will need help. Remember that. Don't be afraid to ask for help when you are out of balance. Why is balance so important to your professional success? Well, you can do amazing things when you are in balance. Ask an Olympic gymnast or a divinely gifted ski racer. When learning to play racquetball at Hartwick, I learned to always come back to what the instructor called home base or the tee after your shot. Returning to the tee puts your body physically back into a neutral and balanced position that will allow you to be nimble and effective when reacting to your opponent's next move. Maybe you've struggled with balance in your past. I know I have. But you are a work in progress and life is a messy thing. And remember, you are never truly, truly alone. Sometimes the strength you build to achieve balance comes just one step at a time. Finally, consider the shadow cast by your personal perspective. If you find it difficult to appreciate someone's unique idea, consider looking at it from their point of view, their perspective. In order to be an empathetic leader and an ally, you must respect different perspectives. Your liberal arts background will demonstrate to employers that you have experience in seeking and gaining fresh perspective. Show the world that you can balance yourself and adopt new perspectives on ways to solve old problems. I watched my partner, Tim, make his brave decision to purchase a ski area back in 1993. Tim holds liberal arts degrees in both biology and psychology. Surprisingly, these two degrees were helpful in creating a successful business. As a ski area owner and general manager, he could jump from his balanced position of big boss with all of its administrative and strategic responsibilities to snowmaking, to bartending, selling tickets, fitting rental ski equipment to customers, teaching skiing, fixing the broken antique chairlift, or even flipping burgers. He can do it all. I know that his liberal arts training gave him the important tools to be able to adapt to any situation that he had to jump into to make our business work. The ability to take in new information see an old problem from a new perspective, quickly change hats, pivot, and then demonstrate leadership are all skills that will last a lifetime. 
watching and learning, finding balance, and gaining perspective. These are three tools that you can use to adjust your trajectory throughout your journey. You've got this. As a trustee of the college, I am privileged to see Hartwick as a business in its own place in the world. Over 12 years as a trustee, I have learned, oops, <laughs> over 12 years as a trustee, I have learned to see this unique place through that trustee lens that includes various fascinating filters, including governance, academic affairs, facilities, and student experience. When you are engrossed in your current role of student, instructor, or any other position that you can imagine at Hartwick, it is natural to get frustrated at times about how and why things are the way they are. I have been there too. But when I became a trustee, I quickly understood how incredibly complex the operation of an institution of higher learning is. The number of times that perspective comes into play is infinite. And the need to balance all the requirements of the students, faculty, and staff with the available resources is constant. The more you watch, the more you learn. Hartwick continues to challenge me in new ways all the time. Just look at me now on this stage. <laughs> Okay, I'm not a public speaker. I prefer to be up on my hill with my horses. But when the call came to speak to you today, I was able to accept this privilege and challenge from a well-balanced position, thanks to Hartwick. I am very excited to be present for the launch of Flight Path. Hartwick is not static. She's evolving in creative and thoughtful ways. Flight Path was conceived, created, and launched from the hearts and minds of Hartwick students, faculty, staff, alumni, and trustees. People who love Hartwick shared their ideas and creative thoughts and came out with this new way of supporting our students. Flight Path now allows us to dive into each student's unique journey, letting us focus on providing stability for the students and therefore the college. I love it. <laughs> I hope that you will support and be a part of it in the future. If you are the, oh well, for, first of all, you are the foundation from which it came. Please be reassured that the trustees, president, future president, and dedicated alumni will direct the ball down the pitch to go for goal. We are clearing the runway of obstacles, making the nest more attractive for all Hartwick Hawks of the future. Our future looks bright indeed, and this COVID fog will lift. Class of 2022, come back to this hill when you can. Your time, talent, and treasure are needed, and your friends at Hartwick, we'll offer you different places around the table to come together again. The Alumni Board Career Mentorship Through Flight Path, trusteeship, local alumni groups, or even serving as a host for career hops are roles to consider. This important work needs to be done and you all bring fresh perspective to our Hartwick table. Finally, it has been exciting to have shared my time as trustee through almost all of Dr. Drugovich's presidency. Margaret has been a brilliant, thoughtful, and steadfast leader through unimaginable and sometimes uncontrollable circumstances. Every human will make mistakes, but Margaret's heart has always been with Hartwick. I'm deeply honored and so very thankful to consider Dr. Margaret Drugovich a very good friend. She offers me perspective when I need it and mindfulness when trustee work feels harried. I've always appreciated her genuine care and her extended hand during difficult times. What a solid leader she has been. This chapter in Hartwick's long journey has been written. 
And I thank you, my dear friend, for your brilliant leadership along that path. Happy retirement to you and to Beth. <laughs> Class of 2022, watch and learn. Seek balance that sustains you and enrich your perspective. Go out and change the world for the better. Class of 2022, you are clear for takeoff. <laughs> <laughs> You've got this. Thank you for the honor of speaking to you today. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Excuse me. <laughs> you will? Okay. Last one. Thank you. <laughs> Everybody ready? We now come to the central moment of this ceremony when degrees are officially conferred on the class of 2022. Each graduate is recognized individually. As each member of the class of 22 comes forward, they will be invested with Hartwick's hood by faculty chair, Dr. Carl Seeley, and will then be greeted by President Drugovich. As you descend the ramp on the far side of the stage, please pause so that you can be presented with a replica of the Hartwick bell, symbolizing your new membership in the Hartwick College Alumni Association and a keepsake that celebrates the 225th anniversary of our founding. Please hold that bell when you return to your seat and await the ceremonial first ringing by the entire class of 2022. Will the candidates for the degree Master of Science please rise? President Drogovich, the faculty, staff, and I are honored to present to you these candidates for the degree Master of Science. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the trustees of Hartwick College, as delegated to them by the State of New York, I am pleased to award to you, upon completion of your course of study, the degree Master of Science. I now call upon the class marshals to bring forward the candidates for the Master of Science degree. Hannah Marie Bowen. Anthony Joseph Lopiccolo. Please join me in congratulating the class of 22 Masters of Science degree recipients.
Will the candidates for the degree Bachelor of Science please rise? <laughs> President Drogovich, the faculty, staff, and I are honored to present to you these candidates for the degree Bachelor of Science. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the trustees of Hartwick College, as delegated to them by the State of New York, I am pleased to award to you, upon completion of your course of study, the degree Bachelor of Science. You may now shift your tassel. I now call upon the class marshals to bring forward the candidates for the degree Bachelor of Science. We invite you to celebrate the achievements of each graduate, but please remember that each candidate has worked very hard to have their name heard. Paul R. Achenbach, Jr. <laughs> Luisa Esper Martins G. Andrade. <laughs> Thomas Joseph Aroxar. Ryan Patrick Ashline. <laughs> Danielle Nicole Bagley, cum laude. <laughs> Ankita Ball, summa cum laude, college honors. Grace Caroline Bartel. <laughs> Anne Anning Basquel, cum laude, college honors. <laughs> Isabella M. Batisti, cum laude. Kelsey Bautista. <laughs> Jessica Lynn Best. Brendan O. Bosinski. <laughs> Alexa Noel Bombard. <laughs> Georgia Willow Briere. Megan Estelle Brockett. <laughs> Emily Michelle Casey. <laughs> J. 
Jack M. Kolbach. Tyler J. Coleman, cum laude. Priya Jone Cooper. Peter Crawford, summa cum laude. Rebecca Faye Dean. Emily Taylor DeMonte. Jennifer B. Diaz. Joseph Michael D'Onofrio. <laughs> Renee Marie Dupuy. <laughs> Connor F. Isel. Gabriella L. Evans, summa cum laude. Jason Fucci. Elizabeth M. Fuller, cum laude. Ashley Lee Gobbin. Gianna Chloe Maya Herbert. Cum laude. Desiree Humsey. Emily Lynn Jackson, summa cum laude, college honors. Richard P. Kinley, Jr. Maggie S. Kirby, magna cum laude. Molly Senor Kirby. <laughs> Davian Rome Quinlan. <laughs> Lauren Patricia Cooch, magna cum laude. Morgan Elizabeth Lathan. <laughs> Colin Timothy Leonard, cum laude. <laughs> Timothy Roland Levy, cum laude, college honors.
Grace Ann Lorino. Kendra M. Lottridge, magna cum laude. David Sentinel Mace, cum laude. Justice Mansfield Bowler. Allison E. Martin. Christine Nicole Maddox. Louis Omondi Mbogo. Danielle Elizabeth McKay. Abigail Marie Miller. Faith Marina Montesinos, cum laude. Jacob Mason Morinas. Jordan Page Howard Mundrick. Caitlin Murphy. Alexa Marie Neary. Musa Nyong. Jimmy Lee Nora. Michelle Nicole Ohl. Zachary Orth. Rihanna Lee Partridge, cum laude. Riddy Patel, magna cum laude. Grace Marie Playford, cum laude. Anicia Rye. <laughs> Olivia Rose Ranieri, cum laude. <laughs> Emma Catherine Riley. Claire Marie Richardson. Connor 
J. Rodermel. Michelle Marie Robinson. Rachel Lee Rock. Caroline Marie Rokiki. Dennis Ross the Fourth. Peyton Taylor Samuelson, magna cum laude. Regina Sherpa, cum laude. Haley Sinicki. Shay Summer Slocum. Zachary Thomas Smatko. Jennifer Victoria Smith. Mikolaj M. Standa. Noam Strickland, magna cum laude. Sarah A. Strickland, magna cum laude. Cameron S. Tackley. Syria Francesca Tague, cum laude. Eli Taub. Jared Tiong Smith. Tyler Vasquez. Gabrielle Elise Voli. <laughs> Megan Elizabeth Walkie, cum laude. <laughs> Victoria A. Wilson. Please join me in congratulating the class of 2022 Bachelor of Science degree recipients. Will the candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Arts please rise?
President Drogovic, the faculty, staff, and I are honored to present to you these candidates for the degree Bachelor of Arts. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the trustees of Hartwick College, as delegated to them by the State of New York, I am pleased to award to you, upon completion of your course of study, the degree Bachelor of Arts. You may now shift your tassel. Will the class marshals please bring forward the candidates for the degree Bachelor of Arts. Dominic J. Abbott. <laughs> Kellen L. Albrecht, cum laude. John Aiden. Armstrong. Danielle Ann Astorga. Nicole Krell Aluciano. Nathan Mather Bachner. <laughs> Joseph Allen Bardram. <laughs> Dana Marie Barrett. Matthew Terrence Beam, cum laude. Toria Marie Belichick. Allison Rose. Barawak. <laughs> Hannah Bossman, cum laude. <laughs> Hannah E. Bradley. Devin Jeremiah Brown. <laughs> Justina Marie Cage Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Michaela 
L. Kappen Summa Cum Laude. Faith Susan Zhao Cardesano. Alyssa Noel Sarar. Benjamin R. Chase. Michael Frederick Sheffalo. Nishat J. Chowdhury. Abigail Mary Christian Cum Laude. Julia C. Collado. Anna M. Craig, summa cum laude. Drew Crawford. Taylor Marie Dandria. Robert James Del Duke Dice Jr. <laughs> Anna Christine Dixon, cum laude. Caitlin Nicole Dixon. <laughs> Matthew Donovan, magna cum laude. Kara Dugan, summa cum laude, college honors. Laura Teresa Dumas. Emily McKenna Edmonds, summa cum laude. <laughs> Olivia R. Egbert, summa cum laude. <laughs> Kaylee Elizabeth Erickson. Diego E. Espinola Ramirez, cum laude. Gina Mae Fahrenholtz, magna cum laude. Christy L. Farrow, Magna cum laude. Oh. 
Soraya Elhadi Feliciano, magna cum laude. Dylan Francis Ferguson, cum laude. Kendall Nicole Firiante. Demetria L. Fish. Woo! Kyle E. Fisher. Woo! Audrey Louise Flower, cum laude. Mava Forts Summa Cum Laude. <laughs> Destiny Marie Foster. Mark Garso. Tanisha Georgian. Julie E. Ginsburg. Jillian Lee Goddard, cum laude. <laughs> Lindsay Charlotte Griffith. <laughs> Max Hunter Hegerot. Samuel D. Hanley. Yeah. Sean R. Hansen, summa cum laude, college honors. Star Victoria Harford, summa cum laude. <laughs> Natalie Eva Harkonnen, cum laude. Maggie Harmon, cum laude. Brandon M. Harrigan.
Emily Catherine Ennis. Aiden James Holt. Kennedy Sage Humphrey Summa Cum Laude. Asha Renee Jackson. Michael Joseph Jacobs Myolovich. Robert Thomas Johns the fifth. <laughs> Alexandra J. Johnson, magna cum laude, college honors. Jillian Johnson. <laughs> Kiona Jones, cum laude. Taylor L. King. Christopher Stephen Kremsner, magna cum laude. Allison R. Kristoff. Gregory Lattimore. <laughs> Braden Lewandowski. Jacob Anakin Locklear. Monica Gloria Lawrence. Samantha Nicole Maldonado, cum laude. Caleb Paul Mallory, summa cum laude, college honors. <laughs> Madison E. Markey, magna cum laude. <laughs> Diallo Lloyd Marshall.
Will May, summa cum laude. Aaron Lee McCree, summa cum laude, college honors. Thomas P. Meyer. Michelle Millette. Colette Gabriella Morris Cum Laude Erica Morris Hill Josephine Scout Maori, magna cum laude. <laughs> Lucas Marius Masi, cum laude, college honors. Omar Dandre Julian Nelson. <laughs> Michaela Anime Noel Cum Laude. Nora Kelly O'Day. Austin James Oliver, cum laude. Michaela Elizabeth Parker. Nicholas A. Pascarella. <laughs> Rebecca Peaks, summa cum laude, college honors. <laughs> Kyle Artis Pearson. Danielle Elisa Perino, magna cum laude. Lauren Colleen Pianelli, cum laude. John M. Pino, cum laude. Zaya M. Petrovic. Grace Ann Porpaglia, summa cum laude, college honors. Elizabeth Posey. D. 
Dell McLaughlin Potts, summa cum laude, college honors. Juliana Marie Pritchard, magna cum laude. Esperanza Cynthia Razo. Lucas M. Richards. Mackenzie Lynn Ryder. Jack Reardon. <laughs> Tyler John Rivera, cum laude. Kevin Patrick Roberts. Tobin Lucas Santoro, summa cum laude. Alexandra Kaylee Surrett, summa cum laude. Emily Rose Schaub. Stephanie Michelle Schwartz. Callum John Charles. Scott. Peyton Elizabeth Seiler, cum laude. Joe S. Schaefer, cum laude. Reginald R. Shed the second. <laughs> Douglas T. Smith, magna cum laude. Olivia Joan Smith. Peter Byron Sorrell, Jr. Danielle Mary Sawalski. Mallory Storms, cum laude. Cameron Strang. Adriana Jean Sullivan.
Alvin J. Sullivan, magna cum laude. Keegan Kelly Siren. Aaron Kathleen Thompson, summa cum laude, college honors. Nicholas Raymond Toscano, cum laude. Armando Velasquez, Jr., summa cum laude. Charles Barella. John Kevin Walker. Kiara Elizabeth Walsh, cum laude. Sean Andrew Waltman. Ashlyn Sheely Widener. Evan I. Wesolowski. Dominique Esther Jean Wheeler, cum laude. Aiden Michael Houlihan. Bandia. LaShawn Williams, summa cum laude, college honors. <laughs> Dalton Blake Wooden. Margo R. Zaytun. <laughs> Erica M. Zoraitis, cum laude. Please join me in congratulating the class of 2022 Bachelors of Arts degree recipients. Join me in congratulating all of the graduates of the class of 2022. Now, please allow me to introduce Alumni Association President Michelle Brown, Hartwick College Class of 1987. Thank you. I know you're all very excited. Can you give me three minutes? 
Okay. President Jugovich, Trustee Chair Long, Hartwick faculty and staff, parents, family members, friends, honored guests, and most importantly, the class of 2022 graduates. <laughs> Embrace your Hartwick experience and look towards your future. On behalf of the Hartwick College Alumni Association's Board of Directors and Hartwick's 18,000 alumni, it's my distinct pleasure you, to welcome you into the Alumni Association forever. We know your relationship with Hartwick will continue throughout your life. The Hartwick College Alumni Association promotes the mission of the college, encourages lifelong connection, engages alumni in the life and financial health of the college, and advances the reputation of the college, its students, and alumni. As we're all part of the Hartwick family, we are here to support you. We want to engage with you. We want to hear from you. One of the best ways you can do this is through True Blue Connect. If you sign up for True Blue Connect, you'll have career opportunities, you'll be able to mentor current students, and you'll interact with other alumni as well. You'll always be a valuable resource to Hartwick. Your Hartwick degree will take you to amazing places. I encourage you to embrace each opportunity. You are prepared to accept the challenges ahead of you. Utilize your personal strengths and embrace the future. And we recognize each and every one of you is the future. Each year at True Blue Weekend, we the alumni gather to reunite with friends and reconnect with our college. For me, this is one of the best weekends of the year. I get to see some of my best friends, one of whom is sitting right over there today. And some of my friends are in the audience as well. Thank you for coming. We get to celebrate our friendships and enjoy activities we loved while we were here on campus. Some of those included going to Brooks Barbecue, hanging out on Frisbee Field, or going to Pine Lake, just to name a few. When you return, think about the activities and the people you'll enjoy seeing. Also, during True Blue Weekend, the Alumni Association recognizes alumni with the conferral of awards for service. I hope to someday I will recognize you at Alumni Weekend for your accomplishments and your efforts to support and advance the college. The bell that you are holding is a replica of the bell that hangs in the Jaeger Hall Belfry. The Jaeger Bell was cast in 1815 and hung in the Hartwick Seminary building for 131 years until it was moved here to this campus. Several years ago, the college adopted the bell as a symbol of your lifelong connection to Hartwick. Now, please ring your bells to celebrate your graduation and entry into the Alumni Association. Congratulations to all of you, the class of 2022. Best of luck in all of your future endeavors. You have now entered into the phase of life called the alumni phase. The student phase at Hartwick is in the past. I look forward to seeing you at True Blue Weekend in the future. Please help me welcome Margaret back up to the podium one last time. Thank you. Members of the class of 2022, 
you have heard the bell ring. Now you leave Hartwick, an educated person. You may have traveled across the world. You may have done a remarkable thing or two. You have probably learned more than you expected. And perhaps you learned more than you thought was possible. It is my hope that what you have learned best is how to learn from others. For this moment also belongs to those who cared for and nurtured you on this journey to this day. It belongs to those who came to this celebration to be with you, as well as to those who, though not here today, would have wished to have been here with you, standing by your side. Your mother, your father, your stepmother, stepfather, sister, brother, grandparent, aunt, uncle, cousin, coach, or maybe even a childhood teacher who nurtured you in your earliest years. Whether they taught you to read, to debate, to serve, or be brave enough to explore places and ideas heretofore unknown to you, they have helped you to achieve this milestone. Graduates, search your heart. For those who bore you here through their love and support, please stand, turn to face your family, and thank them for guiding you to this moment. Graduates, over the centuries, we have come to revere teaching as an honorable profession. Those who commit their life to the dedication and education of others do so to the benefit of us all. The faculty and professional staff of Hartwick College have committed themselves to you. They've inspired your curiosity. They urged you to think critically, and they encouraged you to reach into that space just beyond your understanding and pull yourself up to the next plane of knowledge. They've spent countless hours with you in the classroom and in rehearsals, in the field, on the field, in the laboratory, on the stage, and in the studio. They've challenged you. They've reassured you. They've helped you to develop your sense of confidence and your courage. And in this way, they helped you to find your authentic voice. And so they have prepared you for a lifetime of personal fulfillment. As they opened your mind, they set you free. Will all of the faculty and staff of Hartwood College please rise and face the class of 2022? Graduates, rise, look upon these exceptional teachers and mentors and thank them by applauding their efforts. As we conclude today's ceremony, I want to say that it has been a great privilege to lead Hartwick over these last 14 years. I thank the Board of Trustees for their partnership and support, our colleagues for their camaraderie, and our wonderful students for showing me again and again that where there is learning, there is hope. I wish that this great college, I wish for this great college and all of her people much success in the years to come. Please rise and join in the singing of the Hartwick College alma mater, Oyaran Hill of Dreams. Thank you all for joining this celebration.